Hello and welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC. As you guys know, with ER collets being the most popular way to hold your tools, there are psh, hundreds, maybe thousands, it seems like, out there in the world. But today I'm at RegoFix and we're going to learn why RegoFix is a superior collet to help you create success. I am here with David. David is our expert and we are going to learn together today. So David, thank you so much for being on MTD. Not a problem, Tony. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Well, let's get into it, sir. I mean, let's talk about 1973, the first patent through RegoFix, the yep. first ones to really get it started, a change in how it's been done over the years to constantly seek out perfection, rigidity, added yep. you know, torque values, everything that goes along with the importance mm -hmm. of holding a tool and the overall success of machining a part, you guys focus on. So absolutely. let's let's learn a little bit about the details of that. Oh, absolutely. And you know, you kind of hit on it. Everybody thinks that an ER collet is, well, it's just an ER collet. It really doesn't matter where it comes from because there are thousands and millions of these collets being used around the globe. And, you know, there are only, you know, 10, 15 manufacturers that are making them. But, hey, they're, they're all the same, right? That's, that's kind of the mentality you get from a lot of people. It, it's an ER collet. It's just a collet. Well, it's not just a collar, and that's really where RegoFix comes in. You know, it is our pride and joy. We developed this collar. We came out with it, and we've been making it longer than everybody else. And our collars are a little bit different. And what I would challenge our, our viewers here to do is get a hold of a RegoFix collar and put it in your hand. You know, uh, earlier, you know, off screen, I was showing you some competitive collars and how how sharp and how many burrs there were on it, and you can feel the sharp edges. You know, everybody out there that's watching this can do the exact same. They can go out, grab that collet off the workbench, and they can feel the surface finish and feel the finish. Well, each one of those little burrs is like a piece of sandpaper, and that's what's going inside of your tool holder that's going to hold your cutting tool. So those burrs affect how that collet is pushed down into that tool holder and that affects your overall TIR and clamping force. So little things like surface finish make a big difference and it's something you can actually look at. You can see it and you can feel it. And the Rego fix difference. The better the surface finish, the less imperfections you have on that material. The less imperfections you have, the less resistance as it's being tightened to push it down into that collet cavity. That leads into higher clamping forces, and if I'm pushing it more centered into the tool holder, well, it's better TIR all at the same time. So it kind of goes hand in hand. If it really feels smooth and all the burrs are gone, it can make a big difference. Now, I am going to point out, and we're going to try to give you guys some, some pictures you can show, that you know not every collet that's polished has a good smooth surface finish. And sometimes you gotta take a little bit closer look and we've looked at competitive collets under 90 time microscopes. Wow. And you can see that they polished it, but they didn't remove all the high spots. And those collets just really would not give you the same performance as a truly finished collet. In my head, as an amateur mm -hmm. on the topic and you being the expert on the topic, when I think about something being rough, I envision a bunch of small bumps. Mm -hmm. And if I'm envisioning small bumps and I also understand the hardness of a collet itself, that it's not really gonna, if I tighten it down, those bumps aren't gonna disappear and become flat because they've now molded to a flat surface. It's a hard material, so it really is less of the overall surface of the collet mm -hmm. being able to grip the tool, which yep. is the rigidity you're talking about. But then I also think about the outside diameter of the collet and the smoothness of that and how many times we go in and out of a collet nut mm -hmm. and how quickly it must wear down that precision as well on the collet nut by not being smooth enough or being too rough. It, that's actually a great question. So it does do that. So the, the edges where the top of the collet snaps in, you don't want that to be a super sharp edge because it, wear, it will wear that mating surface on the inside where it actually cl you know, clips in and holds the collet in place. It will also cause wear inside of the collet because those sharp edges will want to eat into the material. And that's what we see a lot of times with the standard metal type nuts that aren't high performance. 
those sharp edges create a lot of friction. And in as few as 10 to 15 cycles, I can look inside of that nut and I can see where that sharp collet has worn inside of the material. And that's where, you know, another segue into high performance clamping also comes from the nut itself. So Regofix makes the high Q nut and we have for about 20 years. It's a chemically impregnated nut that reduces friction and puts a very hard surface treatment on the outside of it at the same time. Because it impregnates into the metal, it doesn't wear off. That means even when you're using collets that aren't Regofix collets that have those burrs or those sharp edges, it's not going to destroy the nut. It'll still survive being used improperly with a wrong tool. But it'll give you much higher clamping force by giving you a little bit of lubricity on the threads and the mating surface. So the tool itself will still be compromised, but the nut, because you guys have perfected, you know, <laughs> as you mentioned, being able to have uh, some of these coatings absorb into the material, that's going to last a little bit longer. Because I have seen some mm -hmm. of these collet nuts um, that aren't from Regofix that are just coated, and the coating mm -hmm. even wears, a, wears away really quickly. Absolutely. So we see a lot of our competitors actually come out with black oxide type of nuts. And the black oxide is a short-term performance advantage. It is a coating on top of the metal, and it will give you a very short duration of lubricity on the threads or the mating surface. The only problem is it's on the material, not in the material, which means those aggressive, you know, poor collets with the bad surface finishes will eat through that coating relatively quickly, and then you're back to having the same disadvantage you had with a regular uncoated type nut. Well, polishing makes sense to me. Smoothness makes sense to me. I mean, to me, that's somewhat a little bit of chemistry and a little bit of common sense, right? But what about all these grooves? I see different kinds of grooves, and as I look around the world and working mm -hmm. in the industry for a couple of decades now and, and seeing the different collets that are out there, I see different groove designs all the time. Do those mean anything? They actually do. The slots that are in the collet are what actually allow it to squeeze down to hold on to your cutting tool. Now, technology has changed a lot over the years from the early 70s to now on how those slots are made. The bad part of that is, is a lot of our competitors that are out there, a lot of the offshore cheaper brands, are still making them with 1970s technology. And you can actually look at the face of the collet and tell how it was made. So what am I looking for when I look at that? Look for the consistency of the slot. Is the slot straight across and smooth? That's where a lot of our competitors fail. You look at it and you can see that it was a two-step operation. How would I know it's a two-step operation? Well, there's actually a step in the slot. I can see where the slot came through with one wheel, they came through with another cutting wheel and they didn't quite get it lined up, and I can actually see a step in the groove. What that means for our viewers is that, well, each one of my segments of my collet have a different amount of material in it. That's going to cause TIR problems. Mm -hmm. May not hurt the clamping force, but it's definitely going to cause TIR because what is a collet? It's a giant spring. Well, being honest, if I'm looking for something, it's not going to be the grooves. It's going to be the brand name of Regofix, and that's how I know I'm going to find the quality. Absolutely. So. Is there any other significant differences other than the smoothness and some of these grooves? And I know that it really takes time to create mm -hmm. this type of quality. And a lot of times it's just about investing the time and caring about the creation of a product. Is there anything else that really stands out that, to help our viewers understand where Rego, other than being the first to do it and, being, and doing it for what seems mm -hmm. like forever, what else stands out with Rego Collets? Oh, so many different things. One of the newest things I'll go ahead and throw out there is that we have come out with our new micron system of, of collets and tool holders. So we've always had our standard precision collet and we've had our UP collet for just about as long. Well, UP is for ultra precision and that usually was the top end of collet accuracies. Well, the micron collet now takes that to the next level. So instead of a five micron collet, we now have a two micron collet, so very, very accurate. So now I can take my ER system one step farther by adding that new collet into the mix. Impressive. I can only imagine what's <laughs> gonna happen in the next 10 years. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, you're exactly right. Well, keep up all of the incredible work. 
allowing us to do what we need to do on the machining side of things to create the perfection that our aerospace and our medical and all of these industries around the world are requiring with these tight tolerance these days. Thank you for putting in the effort to create these types of collets and helping us create that success as well. No problem, Tony.